Hello everybody and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. This is the Duke of Minecraft and today I'm going to show you guys a stable flying machine that I made. Kind of like a quadrocopter or a moon lander or something. And it's actually really simple. But let me just jump up. There we go. So you can also stack seats on it. I've seen lots of people put seats on but nobody has really put the seats like above the the other seat so the key to this is uh, symmetry so it's pretty much all symmetrical like as good as you can get and so that's what makes it fly so well you can remove uh, logs and stuff but I just kept it a big square just to show how simple it is and W makes you fly upwards so you can really blast up into the air and now one two three and four will change like how you're oriented so you can blast off this direction and then you can head back go this way do flips if you want <laughs> blast almost like straight down <laughs> So yeah, you got a pretty good amount of control. Let's see. Try to land this back where we started. So let's go over there. Over like this. A little bit more boost. Now something I haven't added yet is a um, rotation thing which would probably be pretty simple to set up so maybe when we try to build ours here let's add that as well and see what happens but yeah so it's pretty easy to control and I landed right where I took off so I think that's a good sign of control and stability um, also since the seat is directly in the middle of the vehicle like the passenger seat um, it works just the same with passengers in and with them out because a passenger in a seat actually does add more weight to it. So if you had it over here, it would be weighted towards this corner even more if there was someone in a seat here. Uh, but yeah, let's start building it and just do it right over here. So to start off with, just make a giant, oh, giant wood slab <coughs> as big as you can make it. And go and l take out this lift actually and then just put it right back on it so the lift is centered now. And first let's add in the thrusters. So the thrusters you want in this kind of shape. So two away, like well, three in from the corner and then like right there. So just kind of like this. You could put them, if you wanted, you could put them... Um, there but make sure they're all in the same way I just like having them like this because I think it looks a bit better it's more of like a circle um, yeah okay next let's take out two blocks here on each side and add a bearing on the right part okay next add two wood here and a thruster on that and you'll know you have it in the right spot if the uh, like if you put it here, you can see where the rotating parts are. So make sure you got it right on there. Oops, added too many. And one more. There we go. So those are the main thrusters. Then let's have it uh, facing this way. So we want the seat right in the middle just like that and to add a secondary seat might as well do it now I'm just gonna go like this Oop. and oh just jump over add the secondary seat right now So you want to make sure it's all symmetrical basically and 
that way it will just be even more stable in the air. Okay, now let's add four buttons in the front. And let's grab a controller and just place the controller in the back here. And let's connect first the seat to all the down thrusters. So to fly up in the air, all you need to do is hit W and you'll take off straight up into the air. And then these buttons are gonna control which direction you like rotate. So first let's hook these up like one, two, three, four. And for one, I want it to tilt forward. So we need this button to activate the back thruster. Three, I want it to tilt um, backwards. So you want that one to activate the forward thruster. Two is going to be uh, rotating it to the, let's see, left. So we need this on the right thruster and four to the left. So one to front, no wait, one, one to back, two to right, three to front, and four to left. Hopefully I hooked those up correctly. We'll see in a second here. Um, okay, and then we just need to hook the controller, oops, hook the controller to all the bearings. Go in here and just change all the rotation to 60 degrees. There we go, and it should be working. So W has us go upwards. Let's see, did I hook the buttons up right? Oh yeah, seems pretty good. So yeah, you got a stable vehicle. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>